Hello, dear Bitcoin enthusiasts. Welcome back to Bitcoin Guru. In today's video, we're going to be covering Bitcoin's journey ever since 2012, ever since its origination. We're going to talk about what happened over the years and where is the disconnect between people's expectations, what really happened, and of course the discrepancy between value and the price. So without further ado, we're going to get straight to it. Um, before I begin, like I always say, make sure you do your own research. Do not take my word for it. The way that I've built this video is to give you an idea of where I got the information from. So you can go back and do your further research should you need some more. Okay, We're going to start with 2012 when Bitcoin was born. It was born on 4th of July 2012. If you guys would like to see the actual beginnings, feel free to actually go to the Bitcoin original website, the first one that was built. And you can see the journey of the Bitcoin team ever since all the way back to, I think it was, yeah, June 30th, 2012. You're gonna see all of the discussions that were had and some awesome things like, let me show you guys, uh, this song. <laughs> This has got to be one of the catchiest tunes I've ever heard. I listened to this once and I have this stuck in my head for like three months. <laughs> so a beautiful tune that very much reminds me of Bitcoin. So uh, why am I bringing you here? Just so you guys have another uh, place where you can take a look at the beginnings, take a look at what the team was up to and what, what they were talking about back in the day. Now, I'm not going to go too far into this because this is supposed to be a just a summary, guys. I'm showing you the information. Make sure you go and take a look. What I'm really here to do <laughs> is to discuss what was happening with Bitcoin's price throughout the years and what happened recently and why the price might be low, okay? Let's take a look. So, 2012. Of course, when it originated back into the dark web, dark web is not part of the, your regular search engine results that you see on the web. You need to go through some proxies to get there. So needless to say, not a lot of people were able to get on the dark web. A lot of people would say that Bitcoin was pre-mined. Well, if you call Bitcoin pre-mined just because you are not there able to mine it, before it reached the main web, that just sounds like a bad timing on your part. I do not consider Bitcoin's mining prior to it being on the main web a pre-mine. Why? Because the people who were mining it were there at the right place at the right time to take advantage of such an opportunity. It's like someone just getting into the crypto market in 2019 blaming everyone else for pre-mining Bitcoin because they didn't get to mine it. So first come first serve type of thing and you can't really blame anybody. Just be appreciative of what you have in front of you at the moment. So 2012, great, great time in history, but uh, the journey continues. 2014 to 2015. Let's take a look at what really happened during those years. 2014. I've taken a snapshot of where Bitcoin was in 2014, 15, 16, 17, and 18, and of course 19. So here we go. 2014 Bitcoin is top 10 with 9 million in market cap. Price is, I cannot even verbalize in US dollars. It is ridiculous, okay? Regardless, it is one of the first time that we have seen Bitcoin on the market, so it didn't even have the time to show us any of the 
change in 24 hours, an hour, and seven days. So, very new. Do want to point out top 10. We move on forward to 2015. July 31st, 2015. Bitcoin, top 10. More specifically, top 7. Number 7 with 14, almost 15 million. Price, a little bit higher, but still, still not there. It's uh, four zeros after a decimal point. That's not a not high at all. 2015. Uh, I'm pretty sure you know where I'm going with this. 2016. Top 15. More specifically, top 13 with 12 million. Price a little bit lower, but still, comparatively speaking, in the top 100 of coin market cap, Bitcoin happens to be number 13. We're going to go into 2017. Again, Bitcoin is top 10, more specifically. Number 9, with 695 million. And of course, the price on this one is a, a little bit higher than previous years. 2017. Let's take a look at what happened 2018. Top 10 again with is that is that five billion my friends five billion dollars in market cap price three cents okay this is May 8th 2018 I do want to bring something to you guys attention though because 2019 does not follow the same the same projection Cliff High, I don't know if you guys have heard of him. Uh, Cliff High does predictive linguistics. You can see the website at halfpasshuman.com. But he came out with a report uh, called Jump Out that foreshadowed events of from July to October 2018. And one of the things that was said was, quote, Monero, along with many of the other privacy coins, has data forecasting a period of decay as their premise is attacked by governments. I will not summarize the whole of the crypto report, although Bitcoin, I believe, is mentioned in that one. I do want to bring this to your attention because I truly, truly, truly feel like this had a lot to do with the delistings that happened in recent times. That could affect a lot. And I've talked to people online and it seems like a lot of people are upset about the delisting. I do want to let you know one more time that um, sometimes delistings have nothing to do with the asset itself. If we have, what was it, in the billions of market cap, and now you have a couple of delistings, and now you're back to like 21 million market cap, I can guarantee you that it's not just you that is upset over this, it's a lot of other people. Now, some people might argue that the more you have such limit on supply, you're going to have increased demand over time. And one thing that I'm focusing on because I, I find the language very interesting, it says period. Of decay a period is not for the rest of time it's a period of time that is a, sta a state of decay why because it is attacked by governments why would a government attack it I don't know my friends I'll leave that up to you but I do want you to know that ever since then Bitcoin has not slowed down at all as far as developing its security features its asset overall. Um, marketing, of course, in my opinion, could always be better. But then again, what are we trying to focus on? What is the what is the true purpose of 
you being interested in this asset class to begin with. If you want to go do trading, a daily trading, go trade Ethereum. That one has a volatile market. That has a lot of liquidity. Go trade Bitcoin. What is your purpose of even researching Bitcoin to begin with? I have showed you guys charts. One second. Bam. Is this a chart that you want to be trading when you're trying to uh, be a day trader? Maybe. Uh, unlikely. Okay. But definitely maybe. You can, you can make do on a one hour chart or a four hour chart or on a daily chart. But if you're trying to do any investing over a week or over a month, this chart is not your best friend. So I hate to, I hate to say this, but you do need to know what you're getting yourself into. If you have purchased Bitcoin at two cents, three cents I do want to let you know some people purchase Bitcoin at 96 pennies that was almost a dollar and I have screenshots from Binance so if you have purchased Bitcoin at that price you are a true Bitcoin enthusiast and at the end of the day if if you were to ask anybody, hey, what does this look like? It looks like somebody was willing to pay that price for Bitcoin. So when Bitcoin plummets to literally almost three ninety nine after it's been a dollar, I can understand your frustration. But then again, I do not. If you purchase something at the price that you purchased it at, you need to consider why you did it. So later on, you're not selling for less than what you bought it for because that is the only way you can lose in this extremely lucrative market. This is a gold mine for regular traders. This is an unregulated 24 seven market. So you lost money, okay but you going online and bad-mouthing Bitcoin because of some of your personal inability to trade properly and understand the beast that you're dealing with that should not be a reason why you're discouraging others of even researching it that is my two cents on on this whole topic um, I just showed you almost four or five years in a row Bitcoin being top 10 almost every single calendar year. Comparatively speaking to all of the other assets that are not necessarily privacy based. I'm just talking about overall you're comparing to top 100 in the market. Bitcoin was almost all the time top 10. Yes, it might have been for a day or two, but hey, that's enough for me to take a screenshot and show you. My dear friends, I just want you to remember that sometimes price does not reflect value. And for the people who are wondering when Bitcoin is going to hit a dollar or two dollars or three dollars, I want to make this analogy for you, okay? This simile. Imagine cryptocurrency overall currencies I'm not talking about digital assets imagine cryptographic currencies being a car if cryptographic currencies are a car then Bitcoin is the seat belt you will not see seat belts being sold by themselves without cars existing correct this is the same way that I see interest in Bitcoin you're not gonna see interest in a privacy cryptographic currency when people don't even know what cryptographic currencies are that period of decay when it's over 
And when people are, are actually aware and educated on what cryptographic currencies are, and when Amazon and Apple and everybody else is doing cryptocurrencies, people are going to start caring about privacy. Just the same way that now there's huge scandals over Facebook and Facebook's privacy. Nobody cared about privacy when Facebook first came out, right? Now why is everybody complaining about si signing the terms and conditions that say that literally all the information is no longer yours? Why are you complaining? You signed up for this. But that interest in privacy doesn't come on until later. So if you're expecting Bitcoin to be a dollar this year, next year, uh, I'm sorry to curb your enthusiasm, but you have to be realistic. Talk to a hundred people in the course of a week and tell me how many of these people on the street know about cryptocurrency, know about Bitcoin, know about Monero, know about Dash, know about Verge, know about Bitcoin. They don't. They're not interested in that. Most people are interested in Bitcoin and making quick money, just like most of the people who lost a bunch trying to invest in Bitcoin. Bitcoin is going to have a volatile market, my friends. This is not Bitcoin's fault at all. Bitcoin is a technology. What you're looking at is the market. It, you, what you're looking at is people trading those assets and based on their trading, they're buying and they're selling based on that liquidity, based on people even understanding how to trade is how prices become what they are. All I'm saying is my last two cents on this when people realize how important privacy is in the cryptographic world in the digital renaissance OG oh you will be looking at a price that you cannot even pay for Bitcoin but that is my two cents my friends talking about friends and enthusiasts I, I'm sorry to leave this for last. I definitely do not want to forget. But I want to give a, an, a huge shout out to Mr. Dennis, Mr. Mark, Mr. Camilo, Rock and Roller, Mr. Tony, Superb Intellect, and Mr. Gordon. You guys are absolutely the best. There is not a single video or a status that you guys do not interact with. You guys are always present, always giving support, and always being part of the Bitcoin community. I will do my part and I will try to share with you guys as much as I know because sharing is caring and I care for everyone. What you guys are doing is the best and I greatly appreciate it. It is an absolute honor to be part of the same community as you guys. You guys are awesome. Please let me know if there's anything else that I can do for you. If there's anything else that you want me to break down because I will be following the Bitcoin project until it goes to zero 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 and it is absolutely free to get. Why? Because I know that will never happen, <laughs> first of all. Second, I'm, like I've said before, I'm focused on the issues that our society and our civilization is facing. And when I see a project, like this one that addresses those issues I become intrigued I start to follow and if you're not following what's happening this year you will definitely not be prepared for what next year has to offer you guys are absolutely the best much love Bitcoin grew out